Joining us now is three-time Emmy award-winning filmmaker and director of The Captain, the multi-part documentary featuring Derek Jeter. It's Randy Wilkins. And Randy, okay, you spent a whole lot of time with Derek Jeter throughout the evolution of this series. We all know he was so professional with the media over his career. So I want to know, did you learn something about the Yankees captain that maybe surprised you? Yeah, for sure. I think one thing that really stood out was Derek's uh, commitment to trust and loyalty and how important those values are to him, how it influenced the way that he interacted with his teammates, interacted with the world around him, and, and how much he navigated the, the, the world that he lived within. Um, I think that, you know, he, he made sure that he judged people by those values and um, you know, you were on the good side or the bad side of it, depending on uh, how you interact with them in the context of those values. Great point. You know, you spoke to a lot of complimentary people in this series. So besides Jeter, who most intrigued you? Who told the best stories? David Cohn was fantastic. <laughs> uh, the yes own David Cohn. Uh, Michael K was great. Uh, Daryl Strawberry, Reggie Jackson, Brian Cashman was fantastic. Gerald Williams really stood out. I think Gerald Williams, uh, when we all walked away from that interview, we we felt like we knew Derek in a, in a much different way. He was so insightful and clearly had a love for, for Derek, and we were really blessed to speak with Gerald before he passed away. What was your biggest takeaway during this series? I mean, just how much people love Derek Jeter. Uh, there were, we did 90 interviews, and these are these interviews feature a lot of high profile busy people and they committed so much time to us they wanted to be a part of it they wanted to tell Derek's story and i think that that's a reflection of his relationship with a lot of people not just across the industry but um beyond you know we spoke to celebrities that aren't in major league baseball that wanted to be a part of this and i think it's a reflection of how Derek treated others and how others treated Derek. So I think the love that he received just through people's commitment to be a part of this um, was a great reflection of his impact on those around him. Randy, I'm curious, is there another athlete, now that you've done this, that intrigues you in a way where you'd like to do another series like this? Oh, sure. There's a, there are a couple athletes. Uh, Lewis Hamilton from uh, Formula One Racing. Uh, Barry Bonds. Um, there, there were a few people uh, that, I, that I'd like to do another project of this magnitude on, and hopefully I'll get the opportunity to do that one day. Okay, episodes three and four, they're coming up. Give us a little tease. Uh, we're going to talk about Alex Rodriguez and Derek's <laughs> relationship. Uh, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about uh, the 2001 World Series. We're obviously going to talk about the Subway Series. But a lot of it has to do with those things that I mentioned earlier. It really delves deep into Derek's uh, importance on trust and loyalty and how that impacted his relationships with others. And, you know, unfortunately, in episode four, we have to talk about some of the losses in the World Series and the playoffs. But it's really intriguing. It's engaging. It's going to be great. And I hope people enjoy it. Well, one and two have been terrific. Can't wait for three and four and five and six. We're so happy you took time out to join us today. Great job. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here.